so today I had a call that a uh, AC is not working actually the breaker was uh, interrupting it was breaking it was doing its job and when I got here I found uh, quite a few things wrong and uh, uh, also the breaking uh, the breaker uh, tripping it could be a lot of reasons uh, the first thing I see wrong right here is that somebody put a jumper on a capacitor so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the correct capacitor in here another thing it could be is that the AC filter inside it might be very dirty that has been replaced and it's still doing it uh, the condenser could be very dirty so I'm gonna clean it just as a maintenance I can see that this breaker is the incorrect one, but I'm gonna shut the power off first. Uh, the power needs to be shut for every little move that you make. Um, and another thing, it could be the breaker itself. The breaker itself, it's kinda old. And uh, it's this one right here. Seems like if it's tripping. And uh, that might be replaced. So this is what we're gonna be uh, working right now. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, replace the uh, breaker. Now, uh, considering that uh, working with electricity, it's very dangerous. I will not gonna persuade you uh, to do this yourself because uh, it, it cause a lot of damage and even death. However, I'm gonna do this video as I'm informative information only and I'm gonna change that uh, uh, all right so we're gonna take the cover off all right so this is the breaker that we're having troubles right here okay. so the first thing we do is obviously cut the uh, power off and we're gonna disconnect the wiring. Make sure you have a screwdriver with a good insulation. All right. Make sure it doesn't have metal on top because every or any little wrong move and you can get a lot of damage. So you can use the pliers, you gotta move the wires away from you, from the, the uh, breaker. These wires, they don't have power. And now it's time to remove the uh, breaker itself. I like to use, I like to do it like this. Might not work. See how I'm doing it. There you go. Now I got the breaker off. All right, get the breaker and try to get a new one. All right, so this is the first step I'm gonna be doing. All right, so I'm gonna take advantage that uh, the breaker is off to make sure I don't have any power. power on the uh, on the uh, breaker on the cables system right. sorry about the curve so I'm gonna make sure I don't have any power I'm, I'm doing this with the uh, a multi multimeter all right so I don't have any power the multimeter is telling me there is no power remember I got that breaker off the one that is outside and just as a final test I'm gonna do one more thing um, 
I know a lot of uh, technicians out there that are gonna disagree with me. However, um, I'm not gonna use this capacitor anymore and I'm gonna cross finger a screwdriver, just like that. Uh, this helps me, you know, in two things. One, it's telling me that there is no power and another one is that I'm discharging the uh, capacitor. Uh, usually you have a resistor to drain it and, and stuff like that. I am a uh, do-it-yourselfer, I'm not a mechanic, I don't have that. And this is a good uh, way to drain it and see if there is no power. So now that I, I know I don't have power, I'm gonna proceed by changing the uh, capacitor. All right. So first, I am going to disconnect the because uh, this it was for the fan this brown is supposed to be here on the F for the fan so I'm just gonna disconnect it and put it right there that's where it should go so now I'm gonna get the uh, jumper jumper out This is just so that way uh, if you don't know how they go make sure they go the same the same way and now I'm gonna show you in here I don't know if the camera sees it but this is the herm this is the common and this is the fan and that's the same way you want to connect the uh, new one in here so I'm just gonna take this out and the first cable I'm gonna remove okay. is the fan and I'm gonna put it on the fan. All right. Second. I'm going to disconnect the common, which is these two orange wires. I'm going to put the common, and I'm going to connect it. All right, so, and last, we're going to disconnect the herm, hermetic and connected right we got everything on we're gonna put it back on its place the way it's supposed to be we're gonna put the bolt all right so we got the capacitor thing done in here all right this is the old capacitor. I mean, they put a jump, uh, a uh, jumper somehow, and it's not good. So I just put the right capacitor. All right. All right. So I'm gonna get all the cables in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean the. Uh... So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna clean the uh, coil just to make sure it's free of uh, dust because that can also uh, prevent the air from going through and that might uh, reset or uh, trip the breaker. So let's do that. So I'm gonna proceed by taking all the uh, bolts all the way around. to have more you know than it's about three. so now that we have this well we have to pick this up like that I'm gonna try to put a 
metal to keep this thing upright like that. And so that way I can wash the coils. All right, so as you can see, I picked up uh, the cover. I'm just gonna take all that stuff out. I put it from the compressor to here. And I'm gonna clean the uh, condenser really good. First, I'm gonna do it uh, with water, plain water. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw acid. Uh, So as you can see, I'm throwing uh, water, water in all the coil. I'm also gonna do from the outside, and this is just to knock down all the dust that it can be accumulating in between the, the, the radiator. I'm gonna do the back. Put the back is full of dust. So now is the acid thing that I'm gonna have to put. Right. And uh, I put it on top of the fence and I let it run through the uh, radiator so that way you can get down and this thing what it does is it makes a reaction with the dust all right okay so I just want you to see how the uh, chemical is reacting with uh, the uh, coil and it's pushing the uh, whatever dust is in between or in the middle out and then we just have to clean with the water again wash it really good and that's it on the cleaning part of uh, the uh, coil all right so all we have to do is now Throw a lot of water on the coil so we can push the chemical out of the uh, coil. And I consider this real clean. You know, water alone sometimes it doesn't work because. The dust in between the coils, it just gets stuck, really stuck. And uh, there is no other way to, to remove it but with this chemical. So you gotta make sure you really uh, put a lot of water on, a lot of water into, make sure you put a lot of water into this thing. And on the inside, all right all right so I finished putting a lot of water into the coil so the next thing to do is get the cover back on this place and we're all set we gotta make sure we gotta make sure that all the uh, metal things are on its correspondent correspondent place inside and for this I'm gonna need two hands so I'm gonna cut the camera a little bit uh, but you know what I'm talking about all right this is gonna be inside well depending on the coil that you're working on so now that we got all the bolts together and everything in place 
we have to put the cover for the electrical this is an important step make sure the cover is always on because when I came in the cover was off and that's dangerous if your dogs get too close or whatever they can get fried with this thing all right all the way around and we're gonna put the one bolt in here and it's gonna be cover all right one in here and as far as this is concerned we're done so we got the electrical cover back on now the only thing we got left is to install the uh, new uh, breaker all right guys so this is the new breaker I had to unscrew the uh, screw so that way I can put the uh, wires wires to that and I'm gonna put the wires first while they're out here it's easier and hold on I'm gonna get the camera off a little bit but this is what I'm talking about all right all right sorry about that I put the camera off but uh, I installed the uh, wires inside and uh, now it's time to uh, put it there now that those two they're live cables they have a lot of voltage so we don't want to touch that all right so we're gonna make sure we put it like in an angle first like that and then this thing goes like that all right see how I pushed it now it's in place these cables they're pretty set everything is set everything is on we got a brand new breaker and uh, we're gonna run this puppy and uh, let's see what happens so I'm gonna turn the breaker on I have another breaker over there so uh, the AC is not gonna turn on I'm gonna put the back uh, the cover the cover back on you gotta be very careful with this you don't want to touch any live uh, wires because you know what it happens that's what I'm saying if you don't know about uh, electricity too much just let a, let an expert do it don't risk your life right. it goes like this it's supposed to go in the middle I'm gonna put bolts in there right. make sure the cover is set like the way it's supposed to be so that way the kids won't mess around with it and uh, well, I'm gonna leave it on so that way I can test it all right now we're gonna turn this other breaker outside and by the way this box I don't think it's the right box this it shouldn't be exposed but this has the, the wrong box I'm gonna tell the people to change it later on but yeah that's the wrong box water might get into it and cause some problems all right so I got that on everything is on now we're gonna turn the AC on and see what will happen now we're gonna get the air conditioning to turn on. I'm gonna put it on 74 right now and I should kick things. Alright, I heard the kick in. We're gonna go outside and the AC it's on. Now we gotta make sure we gotta make sure we gotta make sure that uh, the fan stays on. Sometimes the fan is damaged and uh, it runs for a little bit and then it quits, and that will make the uh, breaker to trip also. So everything seems to be working perfect. 
little bit of vibration in here. Not much of a deal. Trying to figure out what probably probably we're probably missing another bolt there. I don't have anymore. So it seems like if everything is working really good. Put the cover back on and that's it, we're we're finished.